first coat of varnish on the inside and outside of the boat and it came out not too bad so I'll let that sit for a couple of days then I'll have to fine sand it and then put the next coat on but uh, I'm pretty happy using a, a foam roller to uh, put it on and then a brush to uh, tip it out just looking at the inside varnish job I still have to do the bench seats have to do them separately here's my sink and shelf and uh, of course I still have the um, plastic I still have the plastic and tape protecting the sink because I need to put another one or two coats of varnish on the uh, countertop. Here is the head enclosure and it needs at least one more coat of varnish on it. Then I'll move it into place and I'll have to put the gas lifts on it as well. Things are coming along okay. The varnish job on the rails seem to have turned out pretty good. I'm uh, fairly happy with that. Could always be better. I finished uh, putting the final coat of paint on and it's looking not too bad. There is some brush marks. Could not get it perfect. But uh, it's probably the best I'm going to get in the garage. And next step will be uh, mounting this on rollers and getting it out of the garage. So this is the trailer I had bought last year and it's a Shorelander trailer for pontoon boats and uh, it's actually a little on the big side but I got a good deal on it and uh, so I decided to go with it. The problem is the uh, bunks are meant for a regular pontoon boat with uh, a very wide um, and circular shaped pontoon and my boat is a catamaran and if the bow uh, especially the, the front parts of the pontoons or the hulls is very narrow and if I tried putting it through on these bunks it would drop through and be rubbing right on the metal and the bolts and that. so I have to modify the trailer and add another bunk right down the center and the way I am doing that is removing the bolts putting longer bolts in it countering countersinking them into the wood and uh, this will be my new my new bunk and I've left it extended for now because I might end up having put a cross brace across at the front. I, I, I don't know that until I get the boat on the trailer and, and uh, check it out. So both bunks are done, modified with the uh, 2x4 going right up the center of the old bunks and uh, I'll modify it further by putting sliders on it which uh, I might not do until after I put the boat in the water. And also at the front I might add a cross piece here or shorten these pieces uh, depending on how the boat sits. After a few hours of work trying to squiggle that boat out of the garage, I was able to get it out. 
uh, a lot of effort. Um, it was a very tight squeeze. I did scuff up the hull in a couple spots. I'm going to have to touch up. But she's on the trailer. And now I'm in position where I can uh, finish it. I'll be able to lower the uh, canopy down into the main bay of the garage and start working on it. And meanwhile, I'll start working on the electrical. get an idea of what it's going to look like. I think it's going to be nice. From the pilot's position. It'll be like that. So these are the little pot lights, 12 volt pot lights that I bought on uh, Amazon. And uh, they all plug into this little hub. I'm going to glue them to the canopy. Uh, but also from uh, also from AliExpress, I found all these tiny little rocker switches which I thought were bigger at first and I had ordered them for something else and then I got them and I thought, oh what am I going to use those for? Well, I've attached them in series to each pot light so each pot light on the ceiling will have a, a small rocker switch associated with it. And I'll have a main switch going to the main power cord for the, for the uh, little terminal block here. And uh, so I'll have individual control. Um, I can um, switch everything on if I choose to do so. And then I could turn things off one at a time and customize uh, the light exposure however I want for the occasion. Um, so now I've got to mount these on the canopy in key locations. And <clears throat> I've made all these little blocks of wood to hold the switch. And I'm going to have to glue them in place. Also, since I showed the pot lights, I, I'll show the canopy. The uh, varnishing is complete. Came out not too bad. So that should uh, reflect the lights uh, quite nicely, I hope. So I taped in place after gluing everything with uh, goop all the uh, lighting and switches and I just tacked down the cables for now. Uh, next I will be removing the uh, tape and uh, putting some silicone, white silicone all along the wires, neaten it up and then plug everything in and make sure everything works. So all the lights are wired up. I still have to do some caulking, neaten up the wiring and that, but uh, all of them work. And I think that will give me sufficient lighting and I can individually turn them off, customize the uh, lighting effect, and uh, just have a master switch controlling the rest of them. So I'm just unboxing my 580 watt solar panels I received from China from Sun Sun Solar. Here's the label on the back. So 180 watts, uh, 18 volts nominal and I'm just going to uh, flip them over and inspect them and do a quick test. So, here's what they look like. <clears throat> S 
So the construction looks pretty decent. I've uh, never tried these uh, t this type of solar panel before, but uh, we'll see how it operates. So first thing I'm going to do is just check the voltage, make sure it's uh, operational, and it's right now it's in the shade. Um, but it should still have enough sunlight to register uh, a reading. 20.4 volts. That's correct for an open, uh, open circuit voltage. Twenty point seven. So all the panels are giving me a good open uh, circuit voltage reading, and uh, so they should be good. I mean, I haven't tested them for full wattage and that, but uh, I will do that. Uh, I won't be able to do that until I get them installed, really. Anyways, uh, I'm saying that they're good. I now have the canopy flipped over and I'm ready to uh, start working on finishing the top side. I've got some um, a little bit of scraping to do along the edges where some of the varnish drips from when I did the other side uh, drip down so I need to clean that off and put a couple coats of varnish on this side. This side will be pretty much I don't know 90 95 percent covered with solar panels uh, so it doesn't have to be perfectly done but uh, I would like it to look a bit neat uh, I like it to look somewhat decent Here's the canopy top with the first coat of varnish on. I put it on fairly thin and seemed to cover pretty good. I'm now out of varnish, so I'll have to go and buy another quart. That's a canopy top with two coats of varnish. Um, I'm going to fit the solar panels on next. I uh, get those holes drilled and uh, then I can touch it up. Uh, with some more varnish. I have the solar panels mounted onto the canopy and everything rolled out into the driveway. Um, I've got to clean these back panels. They've been pretty grubby from uh, they're off the previous boat. And I uh, checked the open circuit voltage on it with the three panels in series. It gives me 64 volts which is correct. Uh, for the five panels in the front, these are my new ones, they're uh, 180 watts each and uh, approximately 20 volts open circuit uh, each panel, so five in series. Uh, I ended up measuring 106 volts. So everything is, uh, is working. Um, I have to uh, put in I have to put in some better screws for the front panels. I have some stainless steel screws on order at the local marina. I'll pick up tomorrow. Put them in and then the panel, the canopy and the panels will be ready to move up top. And for that I've, uh, I'm going to have a few friends come over on Saturday and uh, we will heave it up.